What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kind of hit a little bit of a blunder, and then we managed to get ourselves a new Pokemon. I didn't even check this Pokemon right here, but let's go right ahead and take a look. Here we have Togepi, the Togepi. Now, I know many of you guys are thinking that, like, wow, you already had this in Pokemon Crystal. Didn't necessarily work. Well, here we are in Generation 4. This changes because this Togepi is a lot better than the Togepi's of past right here. So, it is a tame of nature. It did hatch. We already got the Ever uh, the Everstone, so we don't need to go back to, uh, to New Bark Town. But the best part about this Pokemon is that it learned or it already had extra sensory right there on its uh, on its move set or it learned it I just didn't even know its ability is serene grace which boosts the likelihood of added effects appearing I don't know what that means but comment down below it does have extra sensory so that right there covers one of its weaknesses I cannot wait to evolve it fully evolve it and all that stuff because it does become a tank and uh, well I completely forgot to heal up my Pokemon so I'll be right back with you guys healing up these Pokemon okay so here we are in route 32 and we already defeated this trainer right here and all we need to do now is go here and open up this uh, rock and BAM there you go, we have broken a rock, and here we're going to be finding ourselves a Shell Bell. This is pretty big for any Pokemon that is, uh, well, kind of, let's just say, has a bit of a HP problem right here. So we're going to give this uh, give this equ equipment to Togepi for just the time being until we get that, uh, that, he that Soothe Bell or something like that. So here we are going into the Union Cave. And Union Cave... They're gonna be there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon in here, so thankfully we got ourselves a a, a a nice amount of repels right here in order to get by. And you know what? Speaking of which, I still need to get this Pokemon to be happy at me. So we're gonna be putting Togepi right up front. It is a risk because you know some of these Pokemon are stronger than Togepi. And here we found ourselves an X attack. This is a very useful item for, you know, boosting up attacks and all that. And here we have an opponent. If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If the, if you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Uh, well, okay. So, as always, we're going to be speeding through this. And this guy's got himself a, a Vulpix right here. So, we're going to go with Lucky. Lucky won't have an issue with this Pokemon right here. And, well, it used Roar. So, there we go. Multiple Pokemon get some points, and here we're learning Sweet Kiss. What does this one do again? It confuses a Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and take away Growl. And just like that, we have defeated this guy. Yes. Okay, so let's go downstairs right here. And this is an added feature to the Union Cave, where you can actually find an item here, uh, an item or two here. And, well, here we found ourselves an X Defend, which can be used in battle. And, of course, we're going to be using another Repel. So there we go, and well, let's see, you know, there's always a stone right here, and look at that, we find ourselves an X speed, so just keep an eye out for that, it's just letting us know that, hey, there's a big battle ahead, and here we get ourselves the TM39 Rock Tomb, a move, very, very powerful, well, it's not powerful, but it does slow down Pokemon, so that could be useful for, for Lucky, since, you know, it is slow, remember guys, I'm not going to be using all the Pokemon on my team here. We're going to be switching them up. And everybody in this region is... Uh, yeah, everyone in this region is uh, is, is, is subject to, to get, you know, to, to be on the team. That means we got Johto Pokemon, we got Kanto Pokemon. Heck, if we even get a... What was it? What's the third generation? Hoenn Pokemon in here? Then screw it. We'll, we'll use it. And I already have my eyes. I already have my eyes and ears ready for the Pokemon that I want to get. And, well, there we go. We have defeated this guy. Pretty easy. Okay, so keep on walking. Try not to make this uh, this Togepi uh, faint or anything. Because remember, you faint this Pokemon, it will hate you. Or it will start hating you or something like that. So let's go Lucky right here. Mud Sport. I don't know why I did that. Let's go Water Gun. That should have done it. And here we go again. And Water Gun again. And Lucky grows to level 11. Let's continue on right here. And just like that. 
we have defeated a hiker. So let's go ahead and move on. We are running out of a lot of repels right here, so yeah, we we need to we need to hurry up right here. Now there is a place, there is a there is a spare repel right here. We just need to find it. And there is the item, and here we found ourselves a potion. Not bad. And well, let's see. There is a person right here that will try and uh, heckle us, and he's gonna be like. I roam far and wide, in, in, in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you are my collecting rival. Why does, be, why does everybody think I'm a rival? I don't know. So here we have Pokemaniac Larry. He's coming with his Slowpoke. This is the first time we're ever seeing this guy right here. And we gotta hit him. And well, we are now asleep, so let's go ahead and waste this. There we go. He can growl us all he wants. The next attack's gonna win, and just like that, Togepi grows to level 11. Fluffolt grows to level 15. Yes, your poor Pokemon. Because you're going to see a miracle right here. Mm-hmm. There you go. So it took us, what, two episodes? Maybe three? And Fluffolt is finally evolving into Flappy. Or no, not Flappy. Um, God damn, I keep on forgetting these Pokemon's names. So many things that I do <laughs> of the day. Yes, I got it right. It's Flappy. Holy crap, Baskets. I need to remember these guys. I keep on forgetting. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Flaffy right here. And let's see, we got level 15 Flaffy. And this Pokemon is kind of finicky, quiet in nature. Still has its uh, issues right here. It is a special attacker. And, well, you know, eventually I'm going to have to switch that Pokemon out. Kind of want to do something new. But you guys can see that these uh, little water areas right here, we can't go through them until we get Surf. Once we do... You're going to be finding a lot more than just, you know, these Pokemon right here. Now, there is an item right there. But before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and battle one more person. And grab this item. And we found ourselves an extra Great Ball, which is great. <laughs> let's go. Zubac Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Hmm. Yeah, you got to hate Zubats. I don't. I like it when it's a... Uh... I like it when it's in, on my team. So here we go. Extra Sensory does the trick. And she's or he's coming out with a coughing. So we're going to use Togepi all over the year. And look at that. Togepi just keeps on winning. See, this is the reason. <laughs> Man, I probably should have started with Generation 4. I don't know. But you guys seem to have liked my Generation uh, 2 game right here of Pokemon Crystal. So, yeah. Everything is appreciated, by the way. And, well, we have one more item. I don't know why I used the repel, and here we found ourselves an awakening, which would have been <laughs> useful somewhere else. Okay, fresh air and it rain. Now, this is the introduction to the elements right here in Pokemon Soul Silver. As many of you guys already know, rain does boost up the power of both electric and water type Pokemon. For moves such as Thunder Wave, or no, not Thunder Wave, but Thunder, where it has the accuracy of 75%, yes. It, uh, yeah, it actually makes it, uh, it makes it 100% accurate, so it's a very good combo move. Now, the other thing, too, it does lower the speed, or it does lower the attack of a fire-type Pokemon, so just be, just be aware of all that right there, guys. So, here we go, taking on another hiker. His name is Anthony. He's coming with a Geodude, and we're gonna go with Togepi right here. And since it's raining, this is... Perfect territory for my good old buddy Lucky. And it's gonna boost up its attack and just like that. Togepi grows to level 12. We're gonna continue on right here with Lucky. And wow, this guy is Yeah, okay, so Holy crab baskets, okay, so there we go. We managed to defeat this Pokemon. Almost fainted right there. And just like that, Lucky grows to level uh, level 12. So we're, yeah, yeah, we got more zip than you, and we're balancing our Pokemon. And after that, he is going to give us his phone number just in case we need a, need need some information from him. So there you go. We got ourselves a new friend right there. And here we are going into Azalea Town. Now, as you guys can see right here, who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We're not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we did. We have to make a comeback to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thud. Wow. Holy buckets. 
Okay, so this guy is not nice. He's like, nothing is going on. I'm, it's unsafe to go down there. So I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good Samaritan? Yeah, no, I just literally seen you push this guy. So, here we are in Azalea Town, and, well, let me go ahead and heal up my Pokemon real quick. And we'll get to the bottom of the rest of the stuff right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are in Azalea Town, and, well, as you guys can see, we can't go to the gym just yet, because this guy's blocking the way. He's like, do you know, do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad I told you that? Not really. I don't really like, well, Slowpoke Tail in general and all that stuff, and, well... Before we do anything, this is home to Kurt, the guy that actually makes the Pokeballs for you. And, you know, right outside his house, he's going to get you an, an apricorn right here. So that right there is a big, big positive. And if you go inside the house, you're going to see Kurt. He's just looking mean as always. He's like, hmm, who are you? Draven, eh? You want me to make you some balls? Sorry, but now I don't have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Uh, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have di been disbanded for about three years ago. Anyways, they're not uh, they're at the well cutting off to Slowpoke Tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke! Old Kurt is on his way. Oh, well, he <laughs> well, he's a man on a mission right here. So the next place we have to go to is the Slowpoke Well. And after those events, nobody's here, and Look at this. Again, the 3D on this emulator is just perfect, and, you know, it makes this, you know, it makes everything look pretty good right here. So, here we are in the Slowpoke well. Talk to Kerr, and he's gonna be like, hey there, Draven! The guard up there took, uh, the good up, uh, the guard up took off uh, when I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the well! I slammed down hard on, uh, hard on my back so I can't move! Rats! If I were, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have pushed them, uh, pushed them. Ah. It can't be helped. Draven, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Yeah, it's always me. Why me? Okay, so here we are in the Slowpoke Well. And yes, you will be finding some Pokemon in here. But you're going to be finding Team Rocket as well. And he's like, hmm. I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much. He startled me so much that I, I fell down here. How about, how about I vent my anger and take it out on you? Why you guys have to be so mean to me? Okay, so here we go, taking on a Team Rocket Grunt, and, well, we're going to be speeding through this, and I do not like the matchup right here because Raditz has always been a jerk, so let's go with Cinder, and Ember Attack does the trick, and we're going to continue on with Cinder right here. Look at that, it's not your day. So he's going to be like, sure, we've been hacking the, the tails off the Slowpoke and selling them. Team Rocket will do anything for money. Hmm, that is true, and... You know, you gotta love the Pokemon that come in here, too, because, well, they want to attack us. And, let's see, grab this. We found ourselves a Super Potion, and we're gonna get attacked again by another Pokemon trainer. Stop, uh, stop taking Slowpoke Tails? What? You want us to disobey a direct order from Executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. Okay. So, here we go, taking on Rocket Grunt yet again, and she's coming out with a Zubat, so extra sensory. We'll do the trick, and, well, let's go right ahead and go straight to Cinder right here, since it hasn't battled quite as much. Let's go with a Ember attack yet again, look at that, and we have defeated this person, so what do you have to say for yourself? Slump of Tails grow back fast! Besides, it was an order from Proton, so I'm more concerned about that. Man. People these days. Okay, so here we found another super potion. Keep an eye out for that too. And yes, we're gonna get attacked by another Pokemon right here. And we're gonna be switching. Actually, no, you know what? The extra sentry is gonna do our thing. And okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Pink haired person. And he's like, quick, uh, quick taking Slowpoke Tails. If we listen to you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. That is true. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on this Team Rocket Grunt, and he's coming out with his Rattata, so let's go with Cinder yet again, and go with the Ember Attack, and you know what, let's go with Fluffolt right here. Fluffolt looking uh, pretty fluffy, defeats that guy, continue on, and just like that we have defeated another Team Rocket Grunt. Alright, so, 
You know what, let's go ahead and continue on right here. I think uh, good old Tilgapri can do actually do it. So talk to this guy, he's like, Proton, what do you have to, what do you, or what do we have here? I am often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere in our business. Okay. Well, taking on the scariest Team Rocket member, Executive Proton, he is going to be coming out with his Zubat right here. Normally, he would be coming out with one Pokemon, but right here in Generation 4, he does have, you know, two. And, and yes, it does work. Extra Sensory. I sped it up because, you know, the confusion thing just gets on my nerves. And, well, Zubat defeated, and Togepi grows to level 13. It's looking pretty happy right there. Okay. So, here comes a coughing. Let's go straight to Cinder right here. And... Well, Cinder with its Flame Mohawk, ready to go. And, well, let's see what Proton has to say right here. Doesn't matter where you go, there's always someone that doesn't agree with us. Hmm, that is true. So let's go with an Ember Attack. And, just like that, a critical hit. Say goodbye to Coughing. And, look at this. We nearly grow to level 8 or 19. And, yeah, <laughs> he didn't see it coming. Huh. <laughs> Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be off the, or be afraid of what it is, is to come. Hmm. And well, after defeating these Team Rocket members, uh, we're taking a look at the Slowpokes, and Chris is like, way to go, Draven. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Ironically enough, he gets healed right here. Holy crud. Huh. Okay, so after defeating Team Rocket, Kurt's gonna be like, Hi Draven, you handled yourself like a real hero. As mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Draven. This is uh, all I have now, but take it. And here we get the Fastball. Specifically made for fast Pokemon. And, well, you have Apricorns for me. Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Since we got, uh, well, you know what? We got four of these things. Four green Apricorns, so let's just give it to him. And it doesn't matter if you have one or 99, guys. He'll make them all. It's just going to take a day or two just to make it. And, well, that's right. I'll give you my grandpa's number. And right there, we got Kurt's number as well. Look at that. Okay, so we are the hero. Okay, so... That has been this episode right here, guys. I think we've accomplished a lot. In the next one, we're going to be taking on Bugsy of the Azalea Town Z uh, a Gym. It's really hard to say all that. What else do we have? Yeah, we're going to be taking on Bugsy for Gym Battle number two. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, there's a heart button right there next to the like and dislike button. If you want to put dislike, it really doesn't affect me as much. I, I'll still keep on doing this uh, walkthrough. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next week for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.